In case you didn't know, the largest living organism on this planet is a fungus. Why am I doing a documentary on, on fungus? Well, there are multiple reasons. It excites me to think about feeding people because it, we have a, an ep epidemic with starvation. It also excites me to think about healing people. It's actually being used for people with HIV and AIDS. It's been proven to fight cancer cells. It's not me, it's the mushrooms. <clears throat> See, some mushrooms are good and some mushrooms are bad. All the molds around here could be causing static electricity. I don't know. Do molds cause static electricity? Mycelium is a type of living organism that dwells within the soil. Living soil has mycelium in it. I mean, it's everywhere. And I've heard that there are some really delicious mushroom teas, some of which are psychedelic, but others that are just good for your digestive system. Kombucha, and um, you know, I, I'm very, very curious about all these things. I was doing research online, and then I found that mushrooms do a lot. You've got mushrooms that eat plastics, you've got mushrooms that can save the soil and turn it from desert to living soil again. You have mushrooms that absorb radiation, you have mushrooms that are full of amino acids and protein. We could eat less meat. Lots of different mushrooms taste like meat, okay? Because mushrooms are more closely related to animals than plants. I've been wanting to do a documentary and, for a long time, and I've had lots of different ideas. And so when I had come across all this really fascinating information, I thought about how I used to live in Telluride, and one of the festivals is the Mushroom Festival. And I always thought it was cool, you know? There are a lot of eclectic people there, and you have mycologists, and you know, people just dressed up, there's that, there's a parade and stuff, and I thought, that's cool, and people go off in the woods and hunt all these mushrooms, and they have cooking parties and stuff, and I thought, huh, oh, interesting, but I never really thought too much about it. The Utes used to travel to Telluride every summer, and they would gather sacred herbs and mushrooms. I'm part American Indian, and I, and I know that the Utes traveled there every summer before the mining community came in and kind of scared them away. I would like to set up interviews with some of the elders at the Indian Reservation there in Arizona and find out what knowledge still exists and what does exist. I would like to bring that out to the public. Are they still practicing these things? Is it still within their culture? If not, it should it still be in their culture or be reintroduced to the culture? But then when I did all this research and I realized that I, I was like, wow, mushrooms, different mushrooms have different aspects to them that if allocated correctly could really help a lot of different issues that, are, that our world is facing right now. Starvation, I mean, it's really easy to, to grow a lot of these mushrooms and cultivate them yourselves. In fact, couldn't this be done on a grander scale? I think there's a lot more to mushrooms and fungus than most people think that there are. The wheels in my head start turning when I start thinking about this. I think there's a lot of information out there that could be put together. I mean, it, it sounds fanatical to say mushrooms could save the world, but some people are saying that, and I just want to know more. I want to know more about it. But after I did all this research, I, I went to sleep that night. I had a dream. When I woke up from the dream, I, I was just like, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, I have to go and document the mushroom festival. I am packing up my car. I'm taking the gear that I have, and I'm going to go shoot it. I can do this on a minimal budget, but I'd really like to do it right, and I'd like to do it very professionally so that I can submit it to different festivals. One that I'm very much interested in is the Discovery Channel's Silver Docks. I'm going to hunt down all these mycologists that are fanatical about this that have really good ideas. I am going to try to accumulate as much information about fungus that I possibly can, and I want to do it in a way that's fun, and I want to do it in a way that is going to be very educational, and who knows, maybe I'll come across some information or put two and two together. Einstein says that intuition is a gift, and knowledge its faithful servant. What if we could save the planet with something as simple as a mushroom?